Jesus is alive and is coming back, Islam confirms. Allah, the creator of heavens and earth, as well as his prophet Muhammad peace be upon him dash, confirmed that Jesus, peace be upon him, is human, servant and messenger of Allah. That he was physically raised alive in some form to heaven both his body and soul, and he will physically be brought back from heaven to earth on the wings of two angels. Actually Muslims were told 1400 years ago how, when and where exactly this return will happen. In this article, we intend to give evidences from Quran, I.E. the final revelation, and Sunnah, I.E. prophets quotes and teachings, proving in brief the life, ascension, upcoming descent and his deeds before he finally dies. There are even some narrations of Muhammad, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, about where Jesus will be buried. So, how to go about this? The best strategy is to press on chronologically, his life, ascension, upcoming descent, his deeds before he finally dies, and his final resting place. Here we go. Jesus is alive. Jews claim they have killed Isa the son of Mary, while Christians believe that Jesus is alive today, and many of their sects believe him to be active. They also believe that he has been resurrected already, and that he will never die again. The Islamic concept comes from Quran, as Allah says. And, for, they're saying, indeed, we have killed the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. And they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. But, another, was made to resemble him to them. And indeed, those who differ over it are in doubt about it. They have no knowledge of it except the following of assumption. And they did not kill him, for certain. Rather, Allah raised him to himself. And ever is Allah exalted in might and wise. Quran.com 4 157-158 I cursed them because they proudly, but falsely, said, We killed the Messiah, Jesus, son of Mary, the messenger of Allah. They did not kill him as they claimed, nor did they crucify him, but they killed and crucified a man whom Allah made to resemble Jesus, so they thought the person who was killed was Jesus. Those Jews who claim to have killed him and those Christians who surrendered him over to them are in doubt and confusion regarding the matter. They have no knowledge, but make guesses that are of no worth against the truth. Truly, they did not kill Jesus nor crucify him. Instead, Allah saved Jesus from their plot and raised him in body and spirit to himself. Allah is mighty in his dominion and nothing can overpower him. He is wise in his planning, decisions, and laws. Anissa 157-158 This means that Jesus is alive in some unknown form and has not been crucified or killed. The Ascension of Jesus Sects of Christianity differ a lot on this matter in particular. They differ on when it happened, how it happened and whether it was witnessed by some of his disciples or not. In Islam the concept is that Jesus's resemblance was bestowed on one of his disciples who volunteered to take his place and was martyred. Jesus was then lifted alive, both his body and soul, to heavens by God, and the evidence from Quran is the previously mentioned verses, Quran.com 4157-158. The Upcoming Descent of Jesus Quran and Sunnah give clear accounts on the return of Jesus, peace be upon him. We can know the time, place and manner by which it will all unfold. He will descend after the appearance of Dajjal, Antichrist, at the white minaret in the eastern side of Damascus while placing his hands on the wings of two angels. It would be one of the signs of the hour. Allah Almighty says, and indeed, Jesus will be, a sign for, knowledge of the hour, so be not in doubt of it, and follow me. This is a straight path. Quran.com 4361 Indeed, Jesus is a sign from the major signs of the hour, when he shall descend towards the end of time. So do not doubt the hour's occurrence and follow me in whatever I have brought to you from Allah. This thing I have brought is the straight path in which there is no deviance. A.C. Zukraf, 61 Muhammad the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, conveys to humanity that the descent of Jesus is one of the major signs of the final hour. Or in other words it is one of the major final events. Hud Haifa beat USAID Al Ghafari reported, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, came to us all of a sudden as we were, busy in a discussion. He said, What do you discuss about? They, the companions, said, We are discussing about the last hour. Thereupon he said, 
It will not come until you see ten signs before and, in this connection, he made a mention of the smoke, the jaw, I. Eat the Antichrist, the beast, the rising of the sun from the west. The descent of Jesus son of Mary, Allah be pleased with him, the Gog and Magog, and landslides in three places, one in the east, one in the west and one in Arabia at the end of which fire would burn forth from the Yemen and would drive people to the place of their assembly. Sahih Muslim Muhammad, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, also tells us about the place and manner in which Jesus will descend in this hadith. And it will be at this very time that Allah will send Isa, Jesus, son of Miriam, Mary, who will descend at the white minaret in the eastern side of Damascus, wearing two garments lightly dyed and placing his hands on the wings of two angels. When he will lower his head, there would fall drops of water from his head, and when he will raise it up, drops like pearls would scatter from it. Every disbeliever who will find his, i.e., ISA's, smell will die and his smell will reach as far as he will be able to see. He will then search for Dajjal until he will catch hold of him at the gate of Lud, village near Jerusalem, and will kill him, Sahih Muslim. Deeds of Jesus on his return In Islam it is a belief that Jesus is a prophet of God and his servant but he has not yet fulfilled his life. There are deeds of his yet to be done which are summarized as follows. He will be a just judge and a just ruler. He will kill the Dajjal at the gate of Lud. He will break the cross. He will kill the pigs. He will abolish the jizya, money paid by non-Muslims to the Islamic state by which they governed. Abundance will prevail. He will pray Muslim prayers behind a Muslim ruler the Mahdi and follow him. Evidences Mujami bin Yariya al-Ansari said, I heard the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, saying, Isa bin Maryam will kill the Dajjal at the gate of Lud. Jamie at Tirmidhi. It was narrated from Abu Huraira that the Prophet, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said, The hour will not begin until Isa bin Maryam comes down as a just judge and a just ruler. He will break the cross, kill the pigs and abolish the Jaziah, and wealth will become so abundant that no one will accept it. Sahih Sunan ibn Majah Present Christianity will be purified in the face of that reality, it will cast off superstition and distortion, and unite with the truths of Islam. Christianity and Christians will in effect be transformed into Islam. The later period of the end of time is a period which entirely embraces favorable concepts of the better, the more beautiful, justice, plenty of all and welfare and abundance. It is a blessed and glorious time. It is surely the blessed time when Islamic morals will penetrate to every aspect of life. Death and Burial of Jesus Once Jesus would fulfill his destiny he eventually dies as a Muslim. Muslims will pray and bury him in Islamic burial. The Messenger of Allah has said, There is no prophet between me and him, Jesus, and he shall descend. He will stay in the world for forty years, then he will die and the Muslims will offer the funeral prayer for him. Abu Dawood, Ahmed Peace and blessings on all messengers of Allah. Finally, Jesus in Islam is a prominent figure. In fact he is mentioned 25 times in Quran by name and character. There is a complete chapter by the name Maryam. Muslims are obliged as a part of their faith to believe in his true message and in his return during the events of the last hour. It is narrated on the authority of Abadabi, Summit, that the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, observed. He who said, There is no true God but Allah, he is one and there is no associate with him, that Muhammad is his servant and his messenger. That Christ is servant and the son of his slave girl and he, Christ, his word which he communicated to Mary and is his spirit, that paradise is a fact and hell is a fact. Allah would make him, he who affirms these truths enter paradise through any one of its eight doors which he would like. Sahih Muslim Messenger of Allah, peace and blessing of Allah be upon him, said. He who bears witness that there is no true God except Allah, alone having no partner with him, that Muhammad is his slave and his messenger. That Isa, Jesus, is his slave and messenger and he, Jesus, is his word which he communicated to Miriam, Mary, and his spirit which he sent to her, that Jannah is true and hell is true. Allah will make him enter Jannah accepting whatever deeds he accomplished. Al-Bukhari and Muslim